All right, this is the first video for the Valerio 26. It's uh, 700 turns, and I've um, given it a little bit of a right rudder. Here we go. All right, that was 700 turns, and as soon as it left my hand, it gave a pretty hard twist, but it left my hand pretty well. Um, the canard on it is pretty angled in a positive way, so I might back off on that just a tad to give it a little bit of a chance to go f more forward and create lift. So let's see how that goes. 900 turns. Less canard. Ooh. That didn't work. Wow. Torque monster. Okay. Let's figure this one out. This is another flight at 900. The last one was a torque pirouette. So I'm hoping it's better. I put a little gurney flap on the center right wing.
all right. It seemed to help, but it still feels a bit awkward. It's not even 50% turns. I have a feeling it's overpowered with too much torque. Uh, I might have to go with less rubber next time. A lot less uh, cross-section. Not a lot less, just less cross-section. And hopefully be able to get this bird to uh, you know, be more controllable. But it leaves my hand pretty quick, so... All right, I'm going to put a little bit more canard in it. Uh, I'm going to use left rudder. And then I'm going to put a little bit of nose weight on it. Try to find a happy spot for this guy. A thousand turns. Interesting, it went up, but I'm just going to keep going with it here. Wow. Okay. What happened there was uh, the canard was too much, so it stalled heavy when I launched. So second launch, I backed off on the canard and what it did to have maybe 700 turns left, but it felt really stable, um, yet it still flew right. This was after putting in left rudder, top and bottom. Hmm. This is going to be interesting because I'm going to now go with it with uh, um, I'm going to go with uh, the same thing just with the less canard and see what happens. Excellent. Okay, less canard, thousand turns. Oh. What the heck? Well... <laughs> Once again, the torque monster took over, but uh, it seemed to recover from it well enough. I'm going to try even more left rudder. Let's see if we can make this thing go left. And then, uh, hmm. I did take a little clay off the nose too, uh, but I got rid of the, some of the up and the canard, the uh, positive canard. So um, I think I should go left even more and see how that uh, reacts. So what's interesting is that the uh, plane is always, always being fully unwound by the time it's down. That's, you know, and I'm only at 50% turns, so definitely it's telling me that uh, I could go with the thinner cross section. And then once I max it out on that thinner cross section, I should be able to, first of all, lessen the torque at the climb at the very beginning. Hopefully, power it up well enough with that lessened torque and then be able to um, cruise 
And if I can get this baby to cruise, then we're okay. But that pirouette that it can do at the beginning is pretty nasty. Definitely a uh, torque thing, right? So I guess I'm trying to remember. I guess it pirouetted to the right still. I don't think it went left. Huh. If it went left. Well, anyway, I might take the clay off the nose a little bit more, and I might go with more left rudder, just a little bit more, and see where we are at that point. Okay, 1,100 turns, less canard, more left rudder. And no, they weren't shooting at my plane, but... Oh my god, that was beautiful. Um, seems to be the ticket. I'm going to put a little bit more left into it, and I'm going to uh, power it up even more. So maybe I can uh, get it to fly in that left circle. And holy cow. Man, <laughs> somebody's happy here. That was beautiful. 1,250 turns, more left rudder. Well, what can I say? No complaints. Um, man, just power it up. Let's see what she wants to do. Seems like she's taking what I give her and holding true and lifts up and did the circle. I'm far enough away from the tree line that I think, oh yeah, I'm right here. That's another 400 yards, 300 yards. So, okay. I'm gonna go, that was 1250. I'm gonna go to, uh, uh, let's see, I'm gonna do 1400. Yep. No changes. I'm doing um, 
that's what happens when the wind blows it slightly to a little right and it didn't you know <laughs> couldn't come around so maybe just a little bit more left rudder would help it I'm gonna give it one more flight and then I'm gonna move over to the sea fire because the sun's getting low I want to give that bird a shot all right um, I don't know if it needs a bead of clay on the left wing tip probably I don't want to play that game yet I don't think but I should just launch it left of the wind make sure it continues a left circle okay here we go okay here we go 1520 final flight Well, <laughs> what can I say? It's a scary model with that torque, so I'm pretty happy with where that ended for one night. My God, definitely has to go left, but I'll have to revisit that thing with it not weather veining as much and get it to go left and circle left. Maybe it's just a bead of clay it needs. Maybe it needs a little gurney on the right side. Um, whatever it is, got to be pretty happy with its first night out. <laughs> oh my God. Well, now we just have to find the model. Sometimes I walk past it. Oh, come on. All right, that, there it is. Yeah, that would spoil my whole damn day if I lost this thing. There he is, down low. All right, good job, buddy. This is the final flight of the night for the Blario. It's a beautiful time of night. It's around 10 after eight. And long cast shadows, I'm loving it here. This is 1,800 turns. Most ever. Right over top. Oh my god, it's up there. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. <laughs> Spot landing. Well, what can I say? Thank you, Louie. <laughs>